Water is the most amazing substance. Without it, life on Earth would not be possible. In this lesson, we will explore the structure of the water molecule in order to explain the acid and base theory. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to recall the structure of a water molecule, define an acid and a base, and apply your knowledge of acid-base reactions to this unusual reaction. To begin this lesson, let's take another look at the bonding that takes place in water. Remember, water has a chemical formula, H2O, so we can start by examining an oxygen atom. Oxygen is in group 6 and has 6 valence electrons. Here, I have drawn these in a Lewis diagram. Now notice that there are two unpaired electrons here. Each of these electrons can share an electron with an unpaired electron from hydrogen. So the water molecule has a Lewis structure that looks like this. There are two very important facts to take note of here. Firstly, notice that an electron from the oxygen atom, shown as a dot, and an electron from the hydrogen atom, shown as a cross, are shared in order to form a single covalent bond. So, in this molecule, there are two single covalent bonds. The electrons are not shared equally in these bonds. The oxygen pulls the electron pair closer to itself, and the hydrogen atom, which is much smaller, becomes slightly positively charged. We indicate this by showing a delta positive on each of the hydrogen atoms. The second thing to notice is that the oxygen atom has two other paired electrons. These pairs of electrons are not involved in bonding between the oxygen and hydrogen atoms. They are called lone pairs. The lone pairs play a very important role in acid and base theory. These lone pairs are regions which are negatively charged, since they have two electrons in them. To indicate this negative charge, we sometimes show a small delta negative on the Lewis structure. The lone pairs repel each other and cause the water molecule to be bent and not symmetrical. You will also notice that the water molecule has two oppositely charged ends. I've made some polystyrene models to illustrate what I've just drawn in the Lewis diagram. The bigger ball represents the oxygen atom, which has a small negative charge on top. And the smaller balls represent the hydrogen atoms, which carry a small positive charge. Now, can you predict what will happen when we bring two water molecules close to each other? That's right, there are going to be forces of attraction between the molecules. The positive end of this molecule is going to be attracted to the negative end of the other molecule. These intermolecular forces give water some of its special properties, like boiling point, melting point and density. Now sometimes something very interesting takes place between two water molecules. Watch and see. Here the hydrogen atom is attracted to one of the lone pairs of another water molecule. This force of attraction is sometimes strong enough to pull the hydrogen away from the original water molecule. The hydrogen leaves its electron behind and attaches to the lone pair. The first water molecule becomes OH but now has an extra electron with a charge of negative 1. This is called the hydroxide ion. The second water molecule becomes H3O positive. This is called a hydronium ion. These ions don't remain in solution very long, but reform water molecules quite quickly. This is an ongoing process that never stops. Let's look at this process in more detail. Here, one water molecule has lost a hydrogen ion, and the other water molecule has gained a hydrogen ion. This exchange of hydrogen ions is now considered the basis of modern acid and base theory. But what is a hydrogen ion? Remember, a hydrogen atom has one proton and one electron. So a hydrogen ion H positive is in fact 
a proton. This means that when a hydrogen ion is transferred, we could also say that a proton has been transferred. In fact, we define an acid and a base in these terms. Let's have a look at these definitions. An acid is a proton donor. A base is a proton acceptor. So in the example of the two water molecules, the first water molecule here was acting as an acid by donating its hydrogen ion. And the second water molecule was acting as a base by accepting the hydrogen ion. Now notice that for pure water, there are always the same number of hydroxide ions as hydronium ions. And this is the reason why water is not an acid nor a base, but a neutral substance. Now, the pH scale has been defined using these exact ideas. We know that water has the same number of hydronium ions and hydroxide ions. And that's why water is neutral with a pH of 7. Notice this is exactly in the middle of the pH scale. Substances that have a low pH, less than 7, have a higher number of hydronium ions than water. These hydronium ions are a source of hydrogen ions, and so the substance will donate these hydrogen ions when reacting. Notice, this fits in with our definition of an acid as a proton donor. But what about substances with pH values higher than 7? They have fewer hydrogen ions and more hydroxide ions present. This means that they are able to accept hydrogen ions during reactions. That makes them bases according to our definitions. Now, I'm sure you are thinking that acids and bases must react together. You are absolutely correct. In our next series of lessons on acids and bases, we will be exploring the many reactions of acids and bases. But for now, you simply need to know that when an acid has reacted with a base, the acid has been neutralized by the base. Neutralization is another name for an acid-base reaction. Let me show you an example of this type of reaction using universal indicator. Here, I have some hydrochloric acid in a test tube. I'm going to add a few drops of universal indicator to it. And as you can see, it is now a bright red color. The acid has a pH of 1. This indicates that there are more hydrogen ions present here than hydroxide ions. We can say the concentration of H plus ions is high, but the concentration of OH minus ions is low. Next, I'm going to add a few drops of sodium hydroxide to this test tube. Remember that sodium hydroxide is a strong alkali and has a high concentration of OH minus ions and a low concentration of H plus ions. Watch what happens to the color of the indicator. Can you see that the indicator has changed color and is now lighter than when it started? This means that some of the hydrogen plus ions have combined with the OH minus ions to form water molecules. But there are still more H plus ions present than OH minus ions. The pH here is still less than 7. By carefully adding more base, we can watch the color until it turns light green. At this point, the concentration of H plus ions is equal to the concentration of OH minus ions. We say the pH is now 7, just like pure water. If I added more base, can you see that the color turns darker green and then purple? 
This indicates that the pH has increased and there are now more OH- ions compared to H plus ions. Finding the balance between these ions makes acids and bases really useful. Now using these ideas, let's have a look at this bubbling container. Now watch what I'm doing here. I start with a basic solution containing universal indicator. The purple color of the solution tells us that the pH is about 12. Next, I will add some dry ice to the container. Dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide dissolves in the water and forms carbonic acid. Remember, we learned about this acid in our previous lesson on cave chemistry. This acid reacts with the base and starts to neutralize the base. This causes the color of universal indicator to change. The longer we leave the carbon dioxide in the solution, the more acidic the solution becomes. It's time now for today's task. Look carefully at the following pictures of the bubbling reaction we have just been talking about. What can you say about the relationship between pH, concentration of hydrogen ions, and concentration of hydroxide ions in each case? Tabulate your answers. In our next lesson, we will be looking at how acids and bases are used in our homes. Until we meet again, goodbye. Yeah.